Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pallavi Reddy, Consultant Dermatologist at Apollo Hospital, Jubilee Hills. Today I am going to talk about the most common topic that is alopecia. I say alopecia is a broad term because it has many types and subtypes. But it is broadly classified into scarring alopecia and non-scarring alopecia. There is scarring alopecia where it is difficult for the hair to regrow. But in non-scarring alopecia, there is a chance of the hair to grow back. Again, this non-scarring alopecia is divided into diffuse hair loss and the patchy hair loss. Diffuse hair loss is a hair loss where there will be hair fall from all over the scalp. But in patchy hair loss, you see patches on the scalp. And the diffuse hair fall is a common type. And the most common types which we see are the telogen effluvium and androgenic alopecia. The causes for this telogen effluvium are many. Mostly the fevers like typhoid, malaria, dengue and most recently the COVID. Some acute emotional stress, some malignancies, surgeries and sometimes crash diets and even the deficiencies like iron deficiency, anemia, vitamin B12 and vitamin D can also cause this telogen effluvium. Per se, there is no treatment for this telogen effluvium as the hair can regrow back within 6 months. Coming to the next is an androgenic alopecia which we call it as a baldness, which we commonly call as baldness. And again it has different types like male pattern baldness and the female pattern baldness. The cause for this is genetically predisposed and sometimes the hormones also play a role. The treatment for this androgenic alopecia, we have topical treatment, systemic treatment and the surgical treatment. And the last one is a patchy alopecia where the causes are many, mostly it can be viral, bacterial or the fungal. And sometimes alopecia aerator. And the treatment is to treat the underlying cause, whereas alopecia is an autoimmune condition and is stress related. And the treatment for alopecia is both topical and systemic. My advice to all of you is not to neglect the hair fall, whether it is a patchy hair fall or a diffuse hair fall, to take appropriate treatment from your dermatologist and as the delay may sometimes cause irreversible hair loss. Thank you.